Good morning, friends. I am here to read a new book with you called Swimmy by Leo Leone. And guess who's on every page in the book? This is Swimmy, and he is swimming through this book. Look at the pages carefully while I read and find Swimmy on each page. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Do you see him there with all the red fish? See if you can point to him. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed up all of the little fish. Can you find Swimmy on that page? He was so fast, he was able to swim away from the big tuna fish. He swam away in the deep, wet, world. Look at that beautiful page. Deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. Probably swimming slowly at that point. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. And as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy became happy again. Can you show me happy? I wonder if a fish can smile. Let's show happy. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. What did he see next? Look for Swimmy there. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Our Swimmy better watch out. And now, do you see more strange fish? Almost swimming like they're pulled by an invisible thread. Look how tiny Swimmy is in that page. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. That's what they look like. Oh. And now Look where Swimmy is, right at the tail of an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. That's a funny way to say that, isn't it? You see Swimmy? And a sea anemone who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. What does it mean to sway? Can you sway in the wind? And look for Swimmy. He's in there. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Let's take a moment and think with Swimmy. What could he do? They're afraid of the big tuna fish. Hmm. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. How will they do that? Do you see Swimmy, that small little Swimmy on the page? Look what's happening. What are the red fish doing? He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Do you see a shape coming with all the red fish? Swimmy's in the middle. <gasps> and when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I will be the eye of the fish. Do you see Swimmy acting like the eye of the fish, swimming with all the red fish? And so 
They swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. Do you see Swimmy on the page acting like the eye and the big black fish swimming away? Swimmy is a very special book because it's called the Caldecott book and the cover has a very special medal on it and that says this book is made of wonderful illustrations which means pictures and we are going to try to make some of those same illustrations with an art project. Thank you.